The Clinical Skills Lab plays a pivotal role in the MBCHP curriculum, ensuring that students develop competence uh, in history taking, physical examination, procedural skills, clinical reasoning, and emergency care before encountering real patients. So it basically involves uh, the medical school, the skills lab on the second floor, as well as on the fifth floor, essential space just for training medical students. And uh, we have, uh, you know, medical, it could be the preclinical medical students, which are the first to third year, where we provide them with essential foundational skills like history taking, examination, procedural skills, as well as, uh, you know, clinical reasoning. We also provide uh, training for the clinical students as well from the fourth to the fifth year. Uh, these are more discipline-specific skills like in surgery, um, ops and gynecology, as well as uh, ophthalmology, ENT and pediatrics. It also provides uh, training to postgraduate students uh, in terms of, uh, again, more specialized skills as well as assessments. You know, the College of Medicine in South Africa assessments also have happened in this particular facility. So the skills lab on the Harvard College campus supports training in the School of Nursing and Public Health. With regards to the decentralized clinical training sites, uh, we have skills lab at the Northdale Hospital in Peter Maritzburg, uh, a regional hospital in Stanger, and the Queen Nandi Regional Hospital at Empangeni, which provides training aligned with the needs of students at those sites. We do send in specialists there to be able to provide, you know, hands-on experiences to the students at the real setting. So this structured learning environment uh, basically bridges the gap between the theoretical knowledge as well as uh, the practical application of clinical skills so as to enhance the, you know, the confidence and competence and professionalism in our medical students. Just to some of the unique selling points at uh, UKZN Skills Lab is that we provide training among other South African universities beyond that is uh, we provide comprehensive training across all this all years so if some of the universities uh, you know training is normally provided uh, in the later years uh, we actually start clinical skills training in the, from the first year uh, with regards to the approach in terms of uh, training, it's more like a multi-professional, multidisciplinary approach. So we have in training in teaching instructions provided by, you know, an in-house clinician, uh, sessional clinicians, uh, the nurses as well as paramedics. Uh, and so they bring, bring in, you know, a diverse set of uh, specialities in terms of our training approach. And uh, we also provide more like a diverse teaching methodology. So we follow the blended learning and teaching approach where you know, the large group lectures are provided online. They're interactive, followed by interactive small group sessions. With regards to the cutting edge learning tools, uh, our skills lab utilizes advanced simulation models and evidence-based teaching framework, such as the Calgary Cambridge model for communication skills training. Not to forget, uh, we integrate strong integration with the preclinical curriculum to ensure that we have adequate, uh, you know, integration with uh, an, a reinforcing anatomy, physiology, and uh, pathology during our clinical skills training. So with regards to our future in clinical skills, you know, so with the evolving of medical education, especially with clinical skills training, so we are looking at, uh, you know, enhancing again AI-based uh, simulation uh, and uh, providing students with adequate support with regards to resources that can enhance their confidence and, you know, competence with learning clinical skills in terms of, so we recently introduced a video-based uh, theme-based video assignments of physical examination skills, which students found actually quite beneficial in terms of building their confidence of, with uh, clinical skills training. Um, other things that we're looking at is developing interprofessional, you know, collaboration with, uh, you know, the School of uh, Nursing and other allied health uh, institutes here so that students can actually have a wider look at the holistic management of patients. And uh, so we are supporting our students as well with the mentorship program, which con currently we have what we call as a Physician Society OSCE workshops, which are conducted by the second and the third year students, uh, you know, to support their 
peers uh, ahead of the you know, OSCEs or the Objective Structured Clinical Examinations. We continue with our peer assessments. So we're looking forward to taking that forward where students provide feedback as well as tutors provide feedback for you know, the formative as well as the summative assessments to build on their confidence with regards to upcoming you know, uh, learning and training in skills program. The Clinical Skills Laboratory at UKZN is an essential component of medical training, ensuring that students acquire knowledge, skills and professionalism required for safe and effective patient care. As medical education continues to evolve, the Skills Lab remains committed to innovation, excellence and holistic development of future healthcare professionals. <music>